An astronaut or cosmonaut is a person trained by a human spaceflight program to command, pilot, or serve as a crew member of a spacecraft. Although generally reserved for professional space travelers, the terms are sometimes applied to anyone who travels into space, including scientists, politicians, journalists, and tourists. Until 2002, astronauts were sponsored and trained exclusively by governments, either by the military or by civilian space agencies. With the suborbital flight of the privately funded SpaceshipOne in 2004, a new category of astronaut was created, the commercial astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> Definition The criteria for what constitutes human spaceflight vary. The Fédération Aéronautique Internationale FAI Sporting Code for Astronautics recognizes only flights that exceed an altitude of 100 km in the United States, professional, military, and commercial astronauts who travel above an altitude of 50 miles 80 km are awarded astronaut wings. As of 17 November 2016, a total of 552 people from 36 countries have reached 100 kilometers 62 miles or more in altitude, of which 549 reached low Earth orbit or beyond. Of these, 24 people have traveled beyond low Earth orbit, either to lunar orbit, the lunar surface, or, in one case, a loop around the Moon. Three of the 24 Jim Lovell, John Young and Eugene Cernan did so twice. The three current astronauts who have flown without reaching low Earth orbit are spaceplane pilots Joe Walker, Mike Melville, and Brian Binney, who participated in suborbital missions. As of 17 November 2016, under the U.S. definition, 558 people qualify as having reached space, above 50 miles 80 kilometers altitude. Of eight X-15 pilots who exceeded 50 miles 80 kilometers in altitude, only one exceeded 100 kilometers about 62 miles. Space travelers have spent over 41,790 man days, 114.5 man years in space, including over 100 astronaut days of spacewalks. As of 2016, the man with the longest cumulative time in space is Gennady Padalka, who has spent 879 days in space. Peggy A. Whitson holds the record for the most time in space by a woman, 377 days. Terminology <inaudible> 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 In 1959, when both the United States and Soviet Union were planning, but had yet to launch humans into space, NASA Administrator T. Keith Glennon and his Deputy Administrator, Dr. Hugh Dryden, discussed whether spacecraft crew members should be called astronauts or cosmonauts. Dryden preferred, cosmonaut on the grounds that flights would occur in the cosmos near space, while the «astro» prefix suggested flight to the stars. Most NASA Space Task Group members preferred «astronaut», which survived by common usage as the preferred American term. When the Soviet Union launched the first man into space, Yuri Gagarin in 1961, they chose a term which anglicizes to cosmonaut. <laughs> Topic. 
Topic: English. In English-speaking nations, a professional space traveler is called an astronaut. The term derives from the Greek words astron, astron meaning star, and nautes, nautes meaning sailor. The first known use of the term astronaut in the modern sense was by Neil R. Jones in his 1930 short story, The Death's Head Meteor. The word itself had been known earlier, for example, in Percy Gregg's 1880 book Across the Zodiac, astronaut referred to a spacecraft. In Les Navigators de l'Infini by J. H. Rosny Aene, the word astronautic was used. The word may have been inspired by aeronaut. An older term for an air traveler first applied in 1784 to balloonists. An early use of astronaut in a nonfiction publication is Eric Frank Russell's poem, The Astronaut, appearing in the November 1934 Bulletin of the British Interplanetary Society. The first known formal use of the term astronautics in the scientific community was the establishment of the annual International Astronautical Congress in 1950, and the subsequent founding of the International Astronautical Federation the following year. NASA applies the term astronaut to any crew member member aboard NASA spacecraft bound for Earth orbit or beyond. NASA also uses the term as a title for those selected to join its astronaut corps. The European Space Agency similarly uses the term astronaut for members of its astronaut corps. Russian. By convention, an astronaut employed by the Russian Federal Space Agency or its Soviet predecessor is called a cosmonaut in English texts. The word is an anglicization of the Russian word kosmonaivit Russian, kosmonaivit Russian pronunciation, ksmnaft, one who works in space outside the Earth's atmosphere, a space traveler, which derives from the Greek words cosmos, cosmos meaning universe, and nautes, nautes meaning sailor. Other countries of the former Eastern Bloc use variations of the Russian word kosmonaivit, such as the Polish kosmonauta although Polish also uses astronauta, and the two words are considered synonyms. Coinage of the term kosmonaivit has been credited to Soviet aeronautics pioneer Mikhail Tikhonrovov the first cosmonaut was Soviet Air Force pilot Yuri Gagarin, also the first person in space. Valentina Tereshkova, a Russian factory worker, was the first woman in space, as well as the first civilian among the Soviet cosmonaut or NASA astronaut corps to make a space flight. On March 14, 1995, Norman Thagard became the first American to ride to space on board a Russian launch vehicle, and thus became the first American cosmonaut. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese Yu Hang Yuan Yu Hang Yuan Space Universe Navigating Personnel is used for astronauts and cosmonauts in general, while Hangtian Yuan, Hangtian Yuan, Navigating Outer Space Personnel, is used for Chinese astronauts. Here, Hangtian. Hangtian is strictly defined as the navigation of outer space within the local star system, i.e. solar system. 
The phrase, Tai Kong Ren, Tai Kong Ren, Spaceman, is often used in Hong Kong and Taiwan. The term Taikonaut is used by some English language news media organizations for professional space travelers from China. The word has featured in the Longman and Oxford English dictionaries, the latter of which describes it as a hybrid of the Chinese term Tai Kong space and the Greek knot sailor. The term became more common in 2003 when China sent its first astronaut Yang Liwei into space aboard the Shenzhou 5 spacecraft. This is the term used by Xinhua News Agency in the English version of the Chinese People's Daily since the advent of the Chinese space program. The origin of the term is unclear. As early as May 1998, Chu Li Yi from Malaysia used it in newsgroups. Other terms With the rise of space tourism, NASA and the Russian Federal Space Agency agreed to use the term, "...space flight participant", to distinguish those space travelers from professional astronauts on missions coordinated by those two agencies. While no nation other than the Russian Federation and previously the former Soviet Union, the United States, and China have launched a manned spacecraft, several other nations have sent people into space in cooperation with one of these countries. Inspired partly by these missions, other synonyms for astronaut have entered occasional English usage. For example, the term spationaut French spelling, spationaut is sometimes used to describe French space travelers, from the Latin word spatium for space. The Malay term Angkasawan was used to describe participants in the Angkasawan program, and the Indian Space Research Organization hoped to launch a spacecraft in 2022 that would carry Vyamanauts, coined from the Sanskrit word for space. In Finland, the NASA astronaut Timothy Kopra, a Finnish-American, has sometimes been referred to as Sisanati, from the Finnish word Sisu. Topic: <laughs> Space travel milestones. The first human in space was Soviet Yuri Gagarin, who was launched on April 12, 1961, aboard Vostok 1 and orbited around the Earth for 108 minutes. The first woman in space was Soviet Valentina Tereshkova, who launched on June 16, 1963, aboard Vostok 6 and orbited Earth for almost three days. Alan Shepard became the first American and second person in space on May 5, 1961, on a 15-minute sub-orbital flight. The first American to orbit the Earth was John Glenn, aboard Friendship 7 on February 20, 1962. The first American woman in space was Sally Ride, during Space Shuttle Challenger's mission STS-7, on June 18, 1983. In 1992 Mae Jemison became the first African-American woman to travel in space aboard STS-47. Cosmonaut Alexei Leonov was the first person to conduct an extravehicular activity EVA, commonly called a spacewalk, on March 18, 1965, on the Soviet Union's Voskhod 2 mission. 
This was followed two and a half months later by astronaut Ed White who made the first American EVA on NASA's Gemini 4 mission, the first manned mission to orbit the Moon. Apollo 8 included American William Anders who was born in Hong Kong, making him the first Asian-born astronaut in 1968. The Soviet Union, through its Intercosmos program, allowed people from other socialist, i.e. Warsaw Pact and other Soviet-allied countries to fly on its missions, with the notable exception of France participating in Soyuz TM-7. An example is Czechoslovak Vladimir Remek, the first cosmonaut from a country other than the Soviet Union or the United States, who flew to space in 1978 on a Soyuz U rocket. Rakesh Sharma became the first Indian citizen to travel to space. He was launched aboard Soyuz T-11, on April 2, 1984. On July 23, 1980, Pham Thuan of Vietnam became the first Asian in space when he flew aboard Soyuz 37. Also in 1980, Cuban Arnaldo Tamayo Mendez became the first person of Hispanic and Black African descent to fly in space, and in 1983, Guion Bluford became the first African American to fly into space. In April 1985, Taylor Wong became the first ethnic Chinese person in space. The first person born in Africa to fly in space was Patrick Baudry France, in 1985. In 1985, Saudi Arabian Prince Sultan bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud became the first Arab Muslim astronaut in space. In 1988, Abdul Ahad Momand became the first Afghan to reach space, spending nine days aboard the Mir space station. With the increase of seats on the space shuttle, the U.S. began taking international astronauts. In 1983, Ulf Meerbold of West Germany became the first non U.S. citizen to fly in a U.S. spacecraft. In 1984, Marc Garneau became the first of eight Canadian astronauts to fly in space through 2010. In 1985, Rodolfo Neri Vila became the first Mexican-born person in space. In 1991, Helen Sharman became the first Briton to fly in space. In 2002, Mark Shuttleworth became the first citizen of an African country to fly in space, as a paying spaceflight participant. In 2003, Elon Ramon became the first Israeli to fly in space, although he died during a re-entry accident. On October 15, 2003, Yang Liwei became China's first astronaut on the Shenzhou 5 spacecraft. Topic: <laughs> Age milestones. The youngest person to fly in space is German Titov, who was 25 years old when he flew Vostok 2. Titov was also the first person to suffer space sickness. The oldest person who has flown in space is John Glenn, who was 77 when he flew on STS 95. Duration and distance milestones 438 days is the longest time spent in space, by Russian Valery Polyakov. As of 2006, the most spaceflights by an individual astronaut is seven, a record held by both Jerry L. Ross and Franklin Chong Diaz. 
The farthest distance from Earth an astronaut has traveled was 401,056 kilometers, 249,205 miles, when Jim Lovell, Jack Swigert, and Fred Hayes went around the moon during the Apollo 13 emergency. Topic: <inaudible> Civilian and non-government milestones. The first civilian in space was Valentina Tereshkova aboard Vostok 6. She also became the first woman in space on that mission. Tereshkova was only honorarily inducted into the USSR's Air Force, which did not accept female pilots at that time. A month later, Joseph Albert Walker became the first American civilian in space when his X-15 Flight 90 crossed the 100 km line, qualifying him by the international definition of spaceflight. Walker had joined the U.S. Army Air Force but was not a member during his flight. The first people in space who had never been a member of any country's armed forces were both Konstantin Feoktistov and Boris Yegorov aboard Voskhod 1. The first non-governmental space traveler was Byron K. Lichtenberg, a researcher from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology who flew on STS-9 in 1983. In December 1990, Toyohiro Akiyama became the first paying space traveler as a reporter for Tokyo Broadcasting System, a visit to Mir as part of an estimated $12 million USD deal with a Japanese TV station, although at the time, the term used to refer to Akiyama was, "...research cosmonaut." Akiyama suffered severe space sickness during his mission, which affected his productivity. The first self funded space tourist was Denis Tito on board the Russian spacecraft Soyuz TM 3 on April 28, 2001. <laughs> self funded travelers The first person to fly on an entirely privately funded mission was Mike Melville, piloting SpaceshipOne Flight 15P on a suborbital journey, although he was a test pilot employed by scaled composites and not an actual paying space tourist. Seven others have paid the Russian Space Agency to fly into space. Dennis Tito, American, April 28 to May 6, 2001, ISS. Mark Shuttleworth, South African, April 25 to May 5, 2002, ISS. Gregory Olson, American, October 1 to 11, 2005, ISS. Anushay Ansari, Iranian American, September 18 to 29, 2006, ISS. Charles Simonyi, Hungarian American, April 7 to 21, 2007, ISS. March 26 to April 8, 2009, ISS. Richard Garriott, British American, October 12 to 24, 2008, ISS. Guy Laliberté, Canadian, September 30, 2009 to October 11, 2009, ISS. Topic: Training. The first NASA astronauts were selected for training in 1959. 
Early in the space program, military jet test piloting and engineering training were often cited as prerequisites for selection as an astronaut at NASA, although neither John Glenn nor Scott Carpenter of the Mercury 7 had any university degree, in engineering or any other discipline at the time of their selection, selection was initially limited to military pilots. The earliest astronauts for both America and the USSR tended to be jet fighter pilots, and were often test pilots. Once selected, NASA astronauts go through 20 months of training in a variety of areas, including training for extravehicular activity in a facility such as NASA's Neutral Buoyancy Laboratory. Astronauts in training astronaut candidates may also experience short periods of weightlessness microgravity in an aircraft called the Vomit Comet, the nickname given to a pair of modified KC-135s retired in 2000 and 2004, respectively, and replaced in 2005 with a C-9, which perform parabolic flights. Astronauts are also required to accumulate a number of flight hours in high-performance jet aircraft. This is mostly done in T-38 jet aircraft out of Ellington Field, due to its proximity to the Johnson Space Center. Ellington Field is also where the shuttle training aircraft is maintained and developed, although most flights of the aircraft are conducted from Edwards Air Force Base. Astronauts in training must learn how to control and fly the space shuttle and, it is vital that they are familiar with the International Space Station so they know what they must do when they get there. <laughs> NASA candidacy requirements Be citizens of the United States Pass a strict physical examination, and have a near and distant visual acuity correctable to 2020 6 sixths. Blood pressure, while sitting, must be no greater than 140 over 90. There are currently no age restrictions. Topic. Commander and pilot A bachelor's degree in engineering, biological science, physical science or mathematics is required. At least 1,000 hours flying time as pilot in command in jet aircraft. Experience as a test pilot is desirable. Height must be 5 feet 2 into 6 feet 2 in 1.58 meters to 1.88 meters. Distant visual acuity must be correctable to 2020 in each eye. The refractive surgical procedures of the eye, PRK photorefractive keratectomy and LASIK, are now allowed, providing at least one year has passed since the date of the procedure with no permanent adverse after effects. For those applicants under final consideration, an operative report on the surgical procedure will be requested. Topic. Mission specialist A bachelor's degree in engineering, biological science, physical science or mathematics, as well as at least three years of related professional experience graduate work or studies and an advanced degree, such as a master's degree one to three years or a doctoral degree three years or more. Applicant's height must be between 4 feet 10.5 in and 6 feet 4 in 1.49 meters and 1.93 meters. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Mission Specialist Educator. Applicants must have a bachelor's degree with teaching experience, including work at the kindergarten through 12th grade level. An advanced degree, such as a master's degree or a doctoral degree, is not required, but is strongly desired. Mission specialist educators, or educator astronauts, were first selected in 2004, and as of 2007, there are three NASA educator astronauts, Joseph M. Akaba, Richard R. Arnold, and Dorothy Metcalf Lindenberger, Barbara Morgan, selected as backup teacher to Krista McAuliffe in 1985, is considered to be the first educator astronaut by the media, but she trained as a mission specialist. The Educator Astronaut Program is a successor to the Teacher in Space Program from the 1980s. <laughs> <laughs> Health risks of space travel Astronauts are susceptible to a variety of health risks including decompression sickness, barotrauma, immunodeficiencies, loss of bone and muscle, loss of eyesight, orthostatic intolerance, sleep disturbances, and radiation injury. A variety of large-scale medical studies are being conducted in space via the National Space and Biomedical Research Institute to address these issues. Prominent among these is the Advanced Diagnostic Ultrasound in Microgravity study in which astronauts including former ISS commanders Leroy Chow and Gennady Padalka perform ultrasound scans under the guidance of remote experts to diagnose and potentially treat hundreds of medical conditions in space. This study's techniques are now being applied to cover professional and Olympic sports injuries as well as ultrasound performed by non-expert operators in medical and high school students. It is anticipated that remote guided ultrasound will have application on Earth in emergency and rural care situations, where access to a trained physician is often rare. A 2006 Space Shuttle experiment found that Salmonella typhimurium, a bacterium that can cause food poisoning, became more virulent when cultivated in space. More recently, in 2017, bacteria were found to be more resistant to antibiotics and to thrive in the near weightlessness of space. Microorganisms have been observed to survive the vacuum of outer space. On December 31, 2012, a NASA supported study reported that manned spaceflight may harm the brain and accelerate the onset of Alzheimer's disease. In October 2015, the NASA Office of Inspector General issued a health hazards report related to space exploration, including a human mission to Mars. Over the last decade, flight surgeons and scientists at NASA have seen a pattern of vision problems in astronauts on long duration space missions. The syndrome, known as visual impairment intracranial pressure, has been reported in nearly two thirds of space explorers after long periods spent aboard the International Space Station. On November 2, 2017, scientists reported that significant changes in the position and structure of the brain have been found in astronauts who have taken trips in space, based on MRI studies. Astronauts who took longer space trips were associated with greater brain changes. Being in space can be physiologically deconditioning on the body. It can affect the otolith organs and adaptive capabilities of the central nervous system. 
zero gravity and cosmic rays can cause many implications for astronauts. In October 2018, NASA funded researchers found that lengthy journeys into outer space, including travel to the planet Mars, may substantially damage the gastrointestinal tissues of astronauts. The studies support earlier work that found such journeys could significantly damage the brains of astronauts and age them prematurely. Researchers in 2018 reported, after detecting the presence on the International Space Station (ISS) of five Enterobacter bigandensis bacterial strains, non-pathogenic to humans, that microorganisms on ISS should be careful monitored to continue assuring a medically healthy environment for astronauts. A recent study by Russian scientists published in April 2019 stated that astronauts facing space radiation could face temporary hindrance of their memory centers. While this doesn't affect their intellectual capabilities, it temporarily hinders formation of new cells in brain's memory centers. The study conducted by Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology concluded this after they observed that mice exposed to neutron and gamma radiation didn't impact the rodents' intellectual capabilities. Topic. Food and drink An astronaut on the International Space Station requires about 0.83 kg weight of food inclusive of food packaging per meal each day. The packaging for each meal weighs around 0.12 kg to 0.27 pounds. Longer duration missions require more food. Shuttle astronauts worked with nutritionists to select menus that appeal to their individual tastes. Five months before flight, menus are selected and analyzed for nutritional content by the shuttle dietitian. Foods are tested to see how they will react in a reduced gravity environment. Caloric requirements are determined using a basal energy expenditure B formula. On Earth, the average American uses about 35 gallons 132 liters of water every day. On board the ISS astronauts limit water use to only about 3 gallons 11 liters per day. Topic. Insignia In Russia, cosmonauts are awarded Pilot Cosmonaut of the Russian Federation upon completion of their missions, often accompanied with the award of Hero of the Russian Federation. This follows the practice established in the USSR where cosmonauts were usually awarded the title Hero of the Soviet Union. At NASA, those who complete astronaut candidate training receive a silver lapel pin. Once they have flown in space, they receive a gold pin. U.S. astronauts who also have active duty military status receive a special qualification badge, known as the Astronaut Badge, after participation on a spaceflight. The United States Air Force also presents an astronaut badge to its pilots who exceed 50 miles 80 kilometers in altitude. <laughs> Deaths 18 astronauts 14 men and 4 women have lost their lives during four space flights. By nationality, 13 were American including one born in India, 4 were Russian Soviet Union, and one was Israeli.
11 people all men have lost their lives training for spaceflight, 8 Americans and 3 Russians. Six of these were in crashes of training jet aircraft, one drowned during water recovery training, and four were due to fires in pure oxygen environments. The Space Mirror Memorial, which stands on the grounds of the John F. Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, commemorates the lives of the men and women who have died during spaceflight and during training in the space programs of the United States. In addition to 20 NASA career astronauts, the memorial includes the names of a U.S. Air Force X-15 test pilot, a U.S. Air Force officer who died while training for a then-classified military space program, and a civilian spaceflight participant. <laughs> See also <laughs>